What's good, shoot tubers? This is King Ali reporting in for Royalty Concepts TV with another sneaker review. Today I am doing the Nike React Sir 2. Uh, these I have been wanting to get these for a while, I almost forgot about them. And um, went into finish line last night and saw that they were on sale. So I went ahead and pulled the trigger. And uh, I haven't seen many videos of this shoe up on YouTube. So I definitely wanted to do this just to kind of show the, the versatility that I have with uh, sneakers or whatnot, my, my taste in shoes. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. I already got them outside the box. Well, let me show you the box real quick. It says the 10th. Nike React Sirtu. Iron gray, black, light, smoke gray. Retail is a buck fifty. Kind of expensive, but I'll show you why in a second. Definitely wanted to shoot it at this angle so you can really see like the the color patterns that they went with, the way they kind of set the shoe up, and so you can see that it is 3M on a toe box. That's really nice, right there. What they did with that. So, <clears throat> let's talk about the shoe, right? So basically, they use the Nike React Element uh, outsole and well, midsole basically, outsole and midsole. Well, midsole. Um, I like the Nike React Elements. Some of them, uh, the colorways, some of the colorways suck, but I like the overall comfort of the uh, React Elements. I like React technology. Uh, for one so when I seen this the, well the first thing you see are the colors like this this shoe stood out on that shelf and um, I knew just by looking at them that I would be getting the shoe I didn't I just didn't want to pull 150 on this shoe um, I wouldn't say they aren't worth a buck 50 but um they eventually went on sale uh, I think I'm not sure when they went on sale. I think they went on sale recently, but I do know when I went into the store at Finish Line, they uh, they had them for 90 bucks. And at that price, I was like, yeah, let me go ahead and grab them. And one one of the main reasons I went ahead and grabbed them, there was a guy trying them on, and he was getting ready to buy his uh, buy himself a pair. And when I tried these on, there was a chick with his uh, with a boyfriend. They saw me trying them on, and they asked for a pair. So I was like, yeah, let me go ahead and get these shits before they're gone. <clears throat> but anyway, you got these suede overlays right here on the round the toe box. And it, it doesn't feel synthetic at all. This this feels really, really good. This feels really, really good. And this is like a... It's like suede. It's a different type of suede. This is a little bit more plush. This is a little bit more solid right here. Around that toe area. Got the back was Nike check. It says the 10th right there. Right here you have like a pebble basketball. Leather right here. And then you have a... I think this is just like a regular leather right here. It feels good. It feels soft. So I'm not sure if they use real materials on this shoe but they definitely feel like it there's a little leather leather right here around the eye stay in the tongue area you have a screen mesh uh fused tongue see-through tongue right here nike check in the corner the medial side is almost identical to the outer side of the shoe then you have this TPU heel kind of right here. This is really nice. I like how they threw that in and made it look like the outsole. That was a nice touch. And then you have the tenth on the back on the pull tab. And I think they have what's on the footbed? I think on the footbed you have um, the tenth right there. Yeah. And again, I had to go with the eleven and a half because these do run big, really, really big. But uh, that's pretty much it. Let me see. The other foot 
has a tag on it. It says something. It says, uh, the tenth and homage to the tried and true, powered by purpose, formulated by function, solidified by style. Oh, one to place above. I'm gonna do some more research and figure out what the tenth, what what's going on with this. I guess it's a collaboration. Or it's definitely uh, <clears throat> signifies something. But uh, yeah, these are nice. Yeah, I would say if you're interested, go check your local finish lines and see if they have them. Do like a little store locator on finishline.com and see if you can um go take a look at these guys. If you're into the reacts, the react elements or whatnot, if you kind of wanted a different kind of shoe, this is the. I, I mean, again, this is my personal taste. This I like this. This is completely different from the norm on the other stuff that I get. But um, I would say go check them out. Go try them on. Definitely, definitely try them on. Again, I had I'm a, I'm a size 12 for the most part, but I had to do an 11 and a half. The, the 12, which is a little too big. And it's mainly due to the inside being so thin. The inside of this shoe was so thin. Because the like the panels right here, like this panel on both sides is literally thin as hell, like paper thin. There's no padding on the tongue. There's nothing around this ankle area. The only padding you have really is this, and this isn't uh, that thick neither. So what that does is it, is a, it allows the foot to do. It's, there's more play inside the shoe with your foot, basically. So, I went with 11 and a half. The 11 and a half is perfect. And you could look at them. They, they run pretty big. You can look at them. Like, the size 12 in my hand was humongous. So, yeah, if you are interested, uh, definitely try more. As far as... Uh, other stores that carry this, I don't know. I haven't seen these in any other stores. I haven't seen this shoe, this particular model, in any other stores. I know Nike.com has them. The Sirtu, I don't know if they have this particular color. This might be a finish line exclusive. <clears throat> but definitely go, um, I think they don't sell too at Nike.com. They had like a wheat one and a khaki one, a navy blue with a, like a few colors in it. But uh, I just like the colors on this. Uh, very much summertime vibes. I will be doing a full outfit for these. I'll probably be doing like a maybe like some gr dark gray joggers and a tee to match with each like every color that's in this shoe. I want to put every color from the pink, the yellow. You got like that light purple, the royal blue, light blue. This is like a. Oh, uh, I'm sorry about that. Come on, focus. What the hell, man? There we go. And it's a little different because I have the flash on. It's a little different. The colors are actually showing brighter in the phone than in the actual hand. Like, what you see right here with this aqua, that's the color. That's the lime. That's the pink. This yellow is actually darker than that. It's like a, a taxi yellow. And this is the true color of that purple right there. Then you, like I said, you got the royal blue. This is like a crimson, like that orange, total, total orange crimson, like a neon orange almost. So I have all those colors. I went and bought the colors today. I'm gonna go ahead and make some for these. <clears throat> but yeah, that's it, man. I'm not gonna say too much else about these. Again, if you are interested, go to finishline.com. They are on sale for 90 bucks. The retail was 150 so that's not a bad deal. And if you like shoes like this, if you like the elements, if you like, uh, if you want more of a like casual sneaker to wear, I think this is the way to go. Something that's different. These are definitely turn heads. These are definitely turn heads, man. This will get people like looking at your feet and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, man, that's it. Appreciate y'all watching. If you like the video, like the video, uh, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'm waiting on my Penny 5 cloaks to come in. It's 
I'm supposed to be in by now. But I guess they'll be in, uh, I don't know. I'll probably be doing a video soon, in a few days. As soon as they get in, I'll be doing a video on those. And, um, yeah, it's All-Star Weekend, man. What shoes are y'all planning on getting? I think I'm going to chill. I pretty much got all the shoes I really wanted. All I've been doing lately is going after the shoes that I had been wanting and, you know, catching them on sale or whatnot. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Y'all hit me up. Go to my IG, KingAli underscore 82. You can take a look at my work. Uh, my website is up. So you go check that out at royaltyconceptswithaz.com. And that's that. Appreciate y'all watching.